Hi everybody. I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Afmat electric pencil sharpener. This got great reviews on Amazon and I have been on the looking for an electric pencil sharpener that I don't hate and I know there's a ton of them out there. My main issue is finding a sharpener that will sharpen all the different all the different sizes of pencils that I have. Um, where's my polychromos? all the different sizes of pencils that I have. So I, and then here's a whole bind. I have all these wonderful, and I recently got watercolor pencils that I love. And, wait for it, I recently got the Derwent uh, drawing pencils. So all these different sizes, and I love all these pencils, and it wouldn't it be great if there was one sharpener for all these pencils, which there actually is. It's my Derwent Crank Sharpener, which I'll put up on the screen here, but it tends, it's not perfect, let's just say that. I love it, it gets super, super sharp, sharp, fine points like this one here but it's sometimes a tips break. It could be my fault. I do drop my pencils, um, but uh, it's not perfect and it's not electric. I would love an electric sharpener. So let's see where this AF mat takes us. Comes with a um, the cord. Unboxing it, turning it upside down here. All right, nice plastic that's good so it looks like it's has not been used which is a good thing okay taking it out of the plastic ah looks really good wow look at that there's a serious sharpener in there and that is a large width so let's see if Looks like the Derwent Light Fast will fit in there. Let's, I'm going to plug it in and let's check it out. Okay, here we go. So I didn't notice there was a little dial here for a, looks like a blunt tip and a super fine tip. So we're gonna go to super fine. It's six to 12 millimeters, I guess, for the width of the pencil. Looks like you can open it up here to take out the shavings. So let's just start with, I don't have that many dull pencils. It's kind of how I am. Okay, here's a good dull polychromos. Whoa, 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 easy spark. It's not a, I don't think it stops by itself, but wow, it got sharp. All right, let's do another polychromos. Maybe zoom in a little, you can kind of see. Wow, okay, that got good. So I twisted it a little bit when I did this one. That is nice. That's just about as good as the Derwent Crank Sharpener. Here's the difference from my Derwent Crank Sharpener and this sharpener, which not too bad, not too much of a difference. I mean, the Derwent Crank is still I mean, that's a really fine point, but um, this is pretty good. That's the best I think I've seen so far from an electric sharpener. So that's polychromos. Let's go and do a Derwent Light Fast. This is pretty blunt. Let's do the Derwent Light Fast. 
It fits in great. I twisted it a little bit. Wow, really nice. Really nice. Okay, let's do um let's do a watercolor pencil. My Karen Dash Museum Museum Aquarelle. You see that's pretty blunt. Awesome sauce. Yeah, it can eat your pencil quickly, so I would be careful. But that's an amazing point. The big test. Here it goes. Derwent drawing. The fatty. The big fatty. Let's see. Oh, yeah. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Really good. Wow. So, you can adjust, right? Let's adjust. Let's go down to the blunt and see what happens there. Um, let me find... Let's do a, um, this is a Holbein, okay? They're about the same size as Polly's, maybe a little thicker. Okay, so that's on the, the down here, all the way to the left. Um, I don't really see too much of a difference. Well, actually I do. Yeah, so it's sharp. It's just thicker. It didn't, it didn't um, thin out the base of the, the um, wax or the oil, the pigment, let's call it, as much as it did here. So I would probably recommend maybe the end or the middle. Now, here's a great tip for you. You use a lot of oil and wax pencils, especially Karen Dash. Oh, I didn't do it. Did I do a Karen Dash? I didn't do a Karen Dash. Um, you want to use some graphite, some lead in there to clean out the sharpener because you can see it sticks to the sharpener in there, to the blade. So supposedly graphite cleans that off. So I have some cheap number two pencils and every once in a while I will, I will um, do a, like a, a pencil. I'll just break off the lead and get my pencil in there. Oh, it stopped. So maybe that means it's sharp. Let's see if I turn it to super sharp. So it is self-stopping. It just kind of eats it up. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, it took off the... Uh, you can't see it in the camera, but it did take off the blue the blue from the earlier pencils. Ah, that could work. Works for me. I never really have too problem when I remember to do that. Now I did not do a luminance. Let's um, do a Karen Dash pencil. Let's sharpen a Karen Dash pencil. Um, as soon as I find one. There's one, uh, kind of a blunt here, and I'm on all the way to the left. Nice, and that one stopped by itself automatically, so. Let's see what happens if I go to super sharp. Got a, oh yeah, got, definitely got sharper. So, I think, to the left for for most of the time so you don't use up too much of your pencil but when you're looking to get like super fine details you toggle that to the right and you get a really fine point and you don't use up as much of your pencil if you use this one on the left i have a feeling this might be my new favorite sharpener um yeah i'm really liking it
half mat. Let's zoom out. Sharpener, it's compact. It, uh, small to large, two pencil nibs, two pencil sizes, and it does have the auto stop. I was just afraid to let it go all by itself. Broken lead ejection. No idea what that means. Um, never had that option before. <laughs> I'll find out. Broken lead ejection. So, well, I'm sure I will break a, a nib or lead on there one of these days and I will find out. I will report back. Okay, my new favorite sharpener, everybody. I will have a link below or wherever I am you are watching this I will have a link for you to check it out